The video we're going to be doing today is how to install Illuminicon connectors for homes that have aluminum wiring. Now I strongly recommend that this be done by a licensed electrician. The connectors we're going to use Illuminicon, you can get those at the box stores such as Lowe's. Maybe Home Depot have them now. I know supply houses have them. But it is a uh, um, very well tested, um, reliable way to do aluminum pigtails. And as you will see, the package has the torque specs of the torque screwdriver that you will need to do this. And gives the specs for different size wire, the 10 gauge or 12 gauge aluminum and this is what you would need of course the aluminum connectors a good outlet and the wire to pigtail all right what you're looking at here is a typical outlet in an aluminum wired house and i say typical most of the time i come across these it's improperly done this is a pigtail that was usually done in the 70s and 80s, 90s. Um, uh, people did this thinking it was safer and it was actually not. It usually created more problems. Um, if you notice, when I take off the wire nut, this is an ideal wire nut. These people didn't even use antioxidant. And even if it used antioxidant, it was not a correct wire nut. Same with the neutral. And of course, I have tested it and turned off the circuit, so that's obviously the first thing you do. So here you have a 12 gauge aluminum, which is rated at 15 amps on 12 gauge copper um, pigtailed. So what you're going to do when you get this, we're going to use the Illuminicon connectors on this uh, to make a correct pigtail. And so I'm using my clines to undo the aluminum wiring. We're not going to use this outlet. We're going to use a better version of that. And we're going to go ahead and redo the ground also. And we're going to... So I'll undo all that. Okay, so... we. We have our, our grounds here for the neutral. I'm gonna use a lighter gauge uh, copper pigtail, but you wanna use the lighter gauge that matches the 12 gauge aluminum. This is actually 14 gauge copper. That That is what would match the aluminum. Now, one problem here, if you notice, this gets over twisted and um, a lot of times aluminum, when you start twisting it too much, it comes, becomes brittle and breaks. That's another issue with aluminum. This has been twisted way too much. Um, so we're going to kind of back that off a little bit. Aluminum is not as forgiving as copper, so when you start twisting it over and over, it has a tendency to just break. So we're gonna kind of gently wrap that copper in there using a regular wire nut. Now we do not need to use any special connection for aluminum to copper ground because there's no reaction. If there's not current going through it, it does not have the uh, electrolysis reaction um, of, the, of the copper to aluminum. So this is actually code compliant. You do not have to use antioxidant on the grounds because the grounds just there as an emergency escape path through the electrons so you should not have obviously current going through it all the time so we'll fold that back up in there we have our ground ready and then get your aluminum connections ready and if you notice about a quarter inch you don't need much on here Like that, you don't want any extra wire sticking out for these connectors. So you just you just get them with pliers. See, I'm getting them all straight. 
and you won't have to twist these wires anymore, which is good with this type of connector. And let me grab my Lumnicon connectors. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, I thought I had those ready. Um, so you just back off before you put them in. I get a small screwdriver and just back those off some so the wires go in. And if you notice, these Lumicon have three terminals, which is exactly what you need for the pigtail. And so for the aluminum, for the a neutral, we'll start with it. This is a, a torque screwdriver I have. I have it set for 10 pounds of torque, which is what the specs call for, for 12 gauge aluminum. If it was 10 gauge aluminum, uh, they call for uh, 15 pounds of torque on this. Now, if a 10 gauge aluminum would be a 20 amp circuit uh, in a house. These are lights, this is a light circuit. So this is your lighter circuit. So we just slide it in there like that. Obviously make sure it goes in all the way. And, uh, <laughs> sorry, I have a cat behind me that's getting a little bit excited about this. Um, so if you listen, this, this torch screwdriver will make a pop when it hits 10 pounds. And that's what you want. The torch screwdriver really is important um, to make sure you get the correct torque on this. I'm going to cut a little bit more off this one. And pop, here the pop. And then we get, we'll put our copper neutral. 14 gauge copper neutral. Now aluminum is is sized differently as far as amperage. There's more resistance inherent to aluminum wiring, so it's a larger gauge uh, as far as for what it can handle. So I put the uh, copper in there the same way. It's torqued down the same amount, 10 pounds. And then after you get that, Always pull each one just to make sure. Close up your little cap, and boom, that's it. Do the do the hot next. Now, um, I always back these off with a regular screwdriver. It's a little more tricky with the torque screwdriver. It's not very good for backing off. Just enough to get the wires in. And we do the same thing, of course. It's no different. Just make sure it goes all the way in there. This is it. This brand is a CDI. That's a it's a real big brand as far as torque screwdrivers. I like it because it makes a real distinct pop sound. Some of them, it's not so obvious. You can look to pay about 100 to 150 for a good torque screwdriver and a good one. It's definitely worth it um, paying that extra amount. Cut a little bit more off that copper. And if you notice when this is in here, you don't have any wire showing outside this little connector, which is what you want. I'm just gonna hold it there. Okay, now the ground's already folded up. We're gonna fold up the neutral. 
and just kind of gently fold it in there. Never just stuff these in. Always kind of just make sure you kind of like, think of it like an accordion. Make sure it folds up easily inside the box. Okay, and then now what we're gonna do is just install a regular outlet. It doesn't have to be any special outlet because right now we're gonna be using copper. So standard outlet will work. Now I buy commercial grade outlets. This is, when you buy them, this is about $2. Uh, the cheaper residential grade that you get like $5, 10 of them in a box. Um, it's just night and day as far as quality. So I would definitely pay and get a better quality outlet on that. And then you install this like any other outlet. This one is not tamper resistant. Um, a lot of building codes require tamper resistant. This is my house and I, I'm doing it non tamper resistant. And then and that's it. Now, Notice when I did do the receptacle, anytime you're tightening down receptacles, I'll show you again. Make sure the loop of the, the wire, like that, is going the direction that it's going to be torqued down. You never want to do like that. Um, can I get that? Oh, I can't show you now. There we go. You never want to go that direction with it because it can push the wire out of the connection. You always want to do it like that so it kind of folds the wire in on itself and makes a lot better connection. Like that. This one does not have stab in. Some uh, outlets will have stab in like the one we removed. I recommend never using stab in. Um, I don't even think that should be allowed as code. They're troublesome and uh, those kind of stabbing connections are likely to short later down the road. Always use the terminal. And that is it. That is how you use the uh, Illuminicon, uh, Illuminicon connector for pigtailing. Thanks.